Hello everyone, I am Rishpa Jain, your maths teacher. Welcome to you all in online classes. I hope you all are studying well. As you know, in previous class, we have started the chapter 4, Geometry. So today, we are going to continue the same chapter. In previous part, we have started the basic geometrical concept in which we have learned about point, line, line segment. Now we are going to start with ray. Now we are moving forward to the four that is ray. Have you ever heard the word ray? Yes, many times we used to have it every day. Sun rays. We are using the word sun rays. From where it is coming? It is coming from the sun. It means we can draw the diagram like this. Here is the sun from which the rays are coming. It means the initial, the origin point, the starting point of this ray is there. But can you tell the ending point of it? No. The ray is moving everywhere. Wherever he, it is having the space to move. It means there is no end point. We have only one point that is starting point. But we are not having any end point. So we can say this is the example of ray. Now what can you observe in it? If it, it has a starting point but moving continuously on the second end. So what can you say about that? Its length will be what? It, its length will be not fixed because it is moving continuously in one direction. So the length of the ray is not Fixed. Now, how many number of end points? As I have told you, it has a starting point, but no end point. So, the number of end points will be 1. And what will be the symbol for it? The symbol for ray will be a line with one dot at the beginning and an arrow at the end. Why? Because it is showing that we have the origin, the starting point, but we are not having the ending point. It is, move, it is moving continuously. Now, how can we draw the example saying a line, a straight line with a dot at starting point and one end. Now, how can we name it? It is very important in it. As I have told you, I have a point so it can be named. But can we name the arrow? No. So, what will we do to find the second point? We will draw a point before arrow on this line and will name as B. Now the next is how can we write the name of it? We can write the name of it saying A, B or B, A. But for determining it that we are talking about ray, we need to show, we need to draw the symbol at the top of the ray name. So when you will write, draw this symbol at the top of the name, you will keep one thing in your mind. The symbol of arrow will be at the top of that alphabet which is moving. In this example, the B is moving. So the arrow will be at the top of B. And if I have written B, so say the arrow will be at the top of B. So it means the both names are representing the ray A, B. We can call the ray A, B. Why? Because B is moving. So the moving side will be at the second position. Can we call it as ray B, A? No. Why? Because the moving point will be on the second position. Now, can you, uh, the real life examples, one I have given already, that is sun rays. The first is sun rays. And second, the tube light, torch light. With, because the starting point of the torch light is torch, but the end point is nothing. It can move wherever it will get the space to go. So second is torch light. Now you can copy the work in your rough notebook. Now I will give some situations to 
to you and then we will recognize from which basic uh, geometrical concept it will be related. Now the first situation is if I am standing on the floor. I am standing straight still. So I am making a dot on the floor. So this dot is known as point. So this is the example of point. But if I am telling you, you have to go from school to home. It means I have the starting point school. I have the ending point home. It means I have two end points. So this is the example of line segment. But now, if I am telling you, you have to start moving from school, but I am not telling you, it means the starting point is there, but I am not telling you where to reach. You are moving, 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 moving continuously. It means you are moving at that. So, this is the example of ray. But in thought, if we are moving continuously in any direction, it means like this. And we don't know from where we have to start it and we don't know where we have to reach. It means we are moving continuously in both the directions. So, it will be known as line. It means if we have the starting or ending point, it is line segment. If we have the starting point but not having the end point, it is ray. But if we are not having any point, we are having zero end points. We are not having the starting point also, ending point also. This is line. Now it's time to get homework. Today's homework is you have to draw a point Y, a line, line PQ, a line segment MN uh, and a ray CD in your fair notebook. Now before finding today's class, I just want to say stay home, stay safe and please like and subscribe my channel to get the notification for the latest update as soon as possible. And viewers, kindly mention your name, class, and section in comment box. Thank you.